हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइस दिस इज योर वेरी मैन आप फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड वेलकम ऑल फॉर बैक टू आवर चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स वन ऑफ आवर व्यूअर्स स्मार्ट होम्स हैड कमेंटेड टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन फ्लैट स्लैब डिजाइन सो हियर आई एम विद अ वीडियो ऑन द फ्लैट स्लैब डिजाइन सो थैंक्स टू स्मार्ट होम फॉर सजेस्टिंग सच अ टॉपिक एंड विल जस्ट जंप स्ट्रेट इनटू द टॉपिक एंड डिस्कस व्हाट इज फ्लैट स्लैब फर्स्ट एंड देन विल डू द फ्लैट स्लैब डिजाइन प्रोसीजर इन द टेकला स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइनर सो बेसिकली व्हाट इज फ्लैट स्लैब सो फ्लैट स्लैब्स आर आल्सो नोन एज बीमलेस स्लैब्स a slab in which the floor is supporting directly on the columns with the help of a slab there is no beams generally what happens in buildings is that the load transfer mechanism says that the load of the wall is carried to the beams and the and the beams transfer the load to the columns but here load is directly transferred to the columns with the help of your slabs so flat slab is exactly that so where they provided they provided in theaters factories mills obviously in they are provided in places where you know beams are not required if you if you just omit the beams there will be more space and many other advantages which we'll discuss later so they are provided in this places so now this is how a flat slab look looks like as you can see uh, apart from conventional slab there are no beams there are only columns as you can see here only columns and no beams only column and slab It's beautiful isn't it so what are the types of flat slab flat slab as you can see just look into the figure uh plain flat slab flat slab with drop panels with column heads and with column heads and drop panels so these are the type of uh, flat slab which you can see in the figures as well and uh, what are the advantages advantages just look at the figure advantages is that you'll get more height more clear height you'll get because there will be no beams and another advantage uh, let me tell you another advantage is that when you do the planning you have to do the planning before that because you have to provide beams below each and every wall so you have to do all the planning before but in case of flat slab is all easy you can simply provide walls anywhere in the slab and it has also got other you know advantages like faster construction water saving properties uh, what you know the saving of construction materials form work reduction and you know architectural freedom as i might mention you can place the walls anywhere and also construction loads are also relate, uh, reduced because if you, if you use less form works and less amount of rod then the construction cost will also get reduced now you must be wondering that if there are so many advantages why are they not used more often now we'll tell you that basically it's going to do with uh, your skilled labor and also that particular skill which re is required skills and you know tools which is required to make a flat slab so basically i have a model here as you can see here in which I've only made the columns and the beams. I'm ready to put the flat slab in here, and let's explore with the options of Tekla Structural Designer. So let's go to the structure one, and in the structure one, we'll go here and see straight away select the flat slabs. So we don't just uh, click on this including diaphragm. You can untick on this and simply just select this, and as you can see, the slab flat slab has been created. So once the flat slab has been created, let's uh, you know just uh, design the slab by gravity only. So let's go to the load here and uh, combination here. We have to anyway define the combinations of the gravity of the dead load. Select this and uh, next only the limit state combinations as per the IS code. Finish and OK. Now let's uh, design this uh, and just to design all uh, static or design all gravity. You can do anything. And after that, uh, you'll have in the go to design, you'll have the option of design slabs. And as you can see, the slab has been designed. And if you can check this out, and uh, you can also generate the report for the member. And if you just take the reinforcement, which is generated 8 mm and 10 mm reinforcement, they are using here. So this is all done and good. So now, what if we put some loads here? So let's put some loads in the flat slab. Actually, so first of all, I'll go to the you know this uh, level in which I can provide the loads. And first of all, I'll just provide an imposed loads. Go to loading here and uh, level load. Uh, just give a level load here of uh, two kilonewton, which is normal for the residential buildings. and after that i'll just go and apply some wall loads suppose i want to make a wall here and let's apply some wall loads also so how to do that let's uh, go to the model here and uh, take a parallel quick grid line and just make a grid line here let's say and click on escape and just select this so we'll just select this and select this so this uh, particular point has been moved similarly what we can do is we will go below here and then uh, select this and select this so the you know this grid line has been moved and also the nodes have been moved so after doing that let's go to the load here and uh, we'll take the dead load here we'll go to the loads 
and after going to the loads we'll take the form of your line loads and line loads let's give 5 kN of line load select first point and second point and this so as you can see uh, we'll just click on this 3D and you can see this particular load has been applied so what if we uh, make some combinations of the load go to combinations and generate some combinations for the import of the dead load we have applied so we'll go next and limited combinations next and then finish and then click on ok so after have you have uh, done that just uh, click on design design or static design so the members have been designed as you can see so after the members have been designed let's uh, find out the design of the slabs so go to design and design slabs it fails as expected because it's only 100 m mm thickness so let's just let's just go and increase the thickness to let's say 200 mm and uh, after doing 200 mm let's go design slabs again and as you can see this is safe and let's see this time the report for the members select this right click and then you'll have the option of report or member or design member 8 mm bars and 10 mm bars at the spacing of 200 mm has been used so this is quite a design here so now you must be wondering what is the way to do this that is provide this drops so this option is also available in the THD so don't worry about that let's see how to do it go to structure one and then go back and turn off all the loadings and after you turn off all the loadings here uh, we have this option of your uh, you know model go to model and then and the slab option you have this column drop slab openings and overhang will select column drop and you can select the depth and the breadth of the drop here that we this is two meters selected you can just to do it anything and depth also you can just change to anything let me go for 500 and I'll just select this options here and when I select this options I'll go to structure 3d and uh, view this options so uh, first of all what I'll do I'll just select all these uh, members here one two three four members and I'll just untick this including diaphragm option and after that I'll go to this uh, load and decomposition and turn on the load decomposition here and after that I'll just I'll just turn on the load and see also import loads and see and after that loadings and the combinations because I have a new member I'll just generate the combinations once again and next and then click on this and next next finish and then click on OK so I'm just going to select this and right click on this and then uh, check slabs and let's check whether if they have any combinations or not design slab and and uh, also I can also go design and then design slabs so it is showing unknown let's go again design design all static and after that let's go again design slabs so now as you can see the slab has been designed so the thing is after you change uh, do any changes in the slab you have to design the member first and after you have to design the slab so I have shown you purposely so that you can know so now you have learned how to model the flat slab you know with your particular option of column drops as well as without column drops if you found this video useful like this video and also subscribe to our channel because there are a lot of videos and your support means a lot to us Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.